Today, we learn how to calculate Clebsch Gordon coefficients looking at a specific example. Given J1 equal to 1 and J2 equal to 1, we are asked to derive the Clebsch Gordon coefficients for 1, 0. What does that mean? It means that we want to write the state, the coupled state J, M, as a linear combination of the uncoupled bases J1, M1, and J2, M2, such that M1 plus M2 is equal to M. In general, for a given value of J, M can take values from J to minus J in steps of 1. Also, for a given pair of J1 and J2, the possible values of J are from J1 plus J2 to the absolute value of J1 minus J2, again in steps of 1. In our particular example, J1 and J2 are both equal to 1. Therefore, the possible values of M1 and M2 are both 1. 0 and minus 1. Also, given our values of j1 and j2, the possible values of j are 2, 1, and 0, with the corresponding values of m of negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Therefore, the question can be rewritten as write the coupled state 1, 0 as a linear combination of states consisting of uncoupled bases 1, m1 and 1, m2, again, with the condition that m1 plus m2 must be equal to 0. It is convenient to represent all the JM states in a grid. The horizontal axis, we reserve it for J and the vertical axis for M. All the possible states mentioned on the previous slide can be shown here as red dots, with a blue dot representing the state 1, 0, our final destination. We will start at the top of the letter, in which J equal to 2 and M equals to 2. We'll go down the letter to J equal to 2, M equal to 1, then we'll go sideways to j equal to 1, m equals to 1, and then down the ladder one more time to j equal to 1, m equal to 0. We will use the ladder operator, the lowering ladder operator, j minus, repeatedly in this process. The lowering operator, j minus, acts on state jm bringing it down to the state j, m minus 1. Therefore, the lowering operator takes us down the m ladder in steps of 1. If we apply it to this, we will first apply it to the state 2, 2. In that state, the klebsch gordon coefficient is just 1, and it has a value of 1. The reason for that is that there is only one possible combination of M1 and M2 such that M1 plus M2 is equal to 2. That combination is M1 equals to M2 equals to 1. We apply J minus to this state, keeping in mind that first it has to be applied both on the left side and on the right side, and 2 that it must be split into 1 minus and j2 minus, such that j1 minus acts only on state j1 m1, and j2 minus acts only on state j2 m2. Applying the expression at the top of the screen three times, once on the left and twice on the right, we find the coupled state 2, 1. On our grid, this state is represented 
as a green dot. We now go sideways to state 1, 1. We can write this new state as a linear combination of the same uncoupled basis as state 2, 1. The reason for that is that states 1, 1 and 2, 1 have one thing in common. M has the same value. Therefore, for both states, M1 plus M2 must be equal to 1. We have an expression with two unknowns, A and B, which are, in fact, klebsch gordon coefficients for these states, but I wrote them as AB for simplicity. In order to find A and B, we use the condition that state 1, 1 must be normalized, and also that state 1, 1 must be orthogonal to state 2, 1. We end up with a simple system of equations, two equations with two unknowns. This system of equations, however, has two pairs of solutions. Which one to choose, the explanation for that is beyond the scope of this video. However, as a rule of thumb, if the difference m1 minus m2 for coefficient a, say, is greater than m1 minus m2 for coefficient b, then the positive then A will have the positive value. In this case, M1 minus M2 for coefficient A is 0 minus 1 equals to minus 1. On the other hand, M1 minus M2 for coefficient B is 1 minus 0, which is equals to 1. Therefore, the coefficient B will have a positive value in this case, and A will have the negative value. We are able to write the coupled basis 1, 1 as a linear combination of states J1, M1, J2, M2, with M1 plus M2, again, being equal to 1. This state is represented on the grid as a green dot. We have to apply the ladder operator one more time to go down the ladder from J1 equal to 1, M equal to 1, to J1, J, J equal to 1, to M equal to 0. We are going down the ladder for j equal to 1, down the m ladder. Again, we apply the j minus operator, this time five times. And we end up with coupled uh, state 1, 0. If we recall where we started, our goal was to write the coupled state 1, 0 as the linear combination of states 1, m1 and 1, m2 such that m1 plus m2 is equal to 0. Indeed, we accomplished that. The klebsch gordon coefficients for state 1, 0 can be written as shown here. Indeed, for m1 equal to minus 1 and m2 equal to 1, the coefficient is minus 1 over square root of 2. For m1 equals to 0 and m2 equals to 0, the coefficient is 0. And for m1 equals to 1 and m2 equals to minus 1, the coefficient is 1 over square root of 2. Our results are in agreement with the coefficients given in any klebsch gordon table. For j1 equals to 1 and j2 equals to 1, and for j equal to 1 and m equal to 0, the coefficients corresponding to the respective values of m1 and m2 are the same as the values that we found.